Please subscribe to our Cervic channel and hit the notification icon for more health tips. Ngayong nalaman na natin, where do we go from here? Here are some things you can do. Una, awareness. You can start by creating an awareness campaign. Siyempre, ideally, it should start from you. My advice is, magpa-cervical screening ka. Busy? But think about this. How valuable is 5 minutes of your time when the impact of cervical cancer lasts a lifetime? Speaking of 5 minutes, you might want to try out our cervic cervical cancer screening test. In just 5 minutes, may resulta ka na. Try it out and get the cervical screening experience para mismo ikaw ma-aware ka. Our cervical screening team are all women so you don't have to worry as we hold our clinic at the Fedel Mundo Medical Arts Building along Banawe in Quezon City. You can share your new experience to your workmate. Ang cervic po, nag i screen kami sa loob ng clinic, sa kumpanya, because our equipments are all mobile and portable. Kung may-ari ka ng kumpanya, I am very sure maiintindihan mo ang value ng mga taong nagpapagalaw ng kumpanya mo as they are important to you and your company as their health too is important to them. Cervic has dreams too of coming out soon with a mobile cervical cancer screening bus. Kanina, nabanggit ko na kulang-kulang ang mga resources sa probinsya. Imagine, if kung meron kayong sobrang bus dyan na pwedeng ipahiram sa amin, pwede naming iikot yan sa buong Pilipinas. Now you don't even have to build a health center facility. The screening and the treatment will be done inside the bus and would go barangay to barangay, village to village. Especially now na nag-pandemic, ang tao ayaw nang pumunta sa ospital unless necessary. They prefer sa clinic or sa mga independent laboratory centers. Another awareness you can do is the mere sharing of information on cervical cancer. Wala ka bang ma-share? Alam mo ba this lecture? This recording, this will be made available for you on our website. So all you need to do is to share. Likewise, pwede mo na balik-balikan. Now, if you are a leader in an organization and you wish to conduct talks, Cervic is right here to help you. We have doctors who can provide medical talk, small talk, big talk like in webinars or symposia, or eto pinakamabigat, TikTok. Furthermore, Meron din kaming Cervic TV. This is an online streaming shown every Sunday na live on Facebook and YouTube where we discuss more on awareness and the things our group is passionate about. Very soon, we will be having our radio station. Hopefully, in September and October, baka, you know, one of these days, pwede kayong mag-guest. Number two, screening. Let's start first with our equipment. Ang gamit po namin for screening is an equipment called colposcope. The procedure is called colposcopy. Eh, para saan ba yung colposcopy na yan? Tingnan po natin ito. Ang cervical cancer screening ay ginagawa sa pamamagitan ng tatlong pagkakaibang test. Ang pinaka-common is ang pap smear. Sunod ay ang VIA or ang visual inspection with acidic acid or otherwise called vinegar test. Ang yung pinakahuli ay ang HPV DNA testing. Ngayon, kung mag-positive ka, meaning suspicious ka for precancerous lesion, ang irerekomenda po sa inyo is colposcopy. Kung sakali naman na positive ka sa colposcopy, then ibabiopsy ka. Pag sinabi pa lang precancerous lesion, hindi po ibig sabihin cancer na ito. Ang ibig pong sabihin nito, ang lesion ay nasa balat pa lamang ng cervix na malamang ay papunta na doon sa cervical cancer. Sa cervix po, agad-agad combined via na at colposcopy. So, sa tingin nyo, sino mas accurate? Another plus factor is the artificial intelligence no? or AI. Bukod tangi pa lang kami sa buong Pilipinas ang meron nito. Artificial Intelligence in Healthcare Now, does Artificial Intelligence compete with doctors? 
The answer is no. AI does not compete with doctors. Instead, AI assists the doctors to make the best decision. Sa bansa po natin na kung saan kulang ang mga doktor, ano po kaya sa tingin ninyo ang magandang solusyon para matugunan ang pangangailangan ng mga kababaihan? The solution released sa pagkakaalam ko, this was in 2005, was to train some midwives to conduct cervical cancer screening per region. Ang test na ginagawa nila is the VIA test or the visual inspection with acetic acid. But ang VIA po is a subjective test. Hindi maliwanag and hindi straightforward ang test na ito. Hindi ito tulad ng pregnancy test kit kapag dalawang guhit patay. Patay kang bata ka dahil nakabuntis ka. VIA results may vary from one person to another. Hence, quality assurance is a concern. Now, using artificial intelligence, ang resulta parang computer, consistent. Walang emotion, walang hangover, it's reproducible day in, day out. Furthermore, ang standard na VIA, walang documentation. Para po magkaresulta ang pasyente, dinodrawing sa isang papel nung nag ang nakita niya. And place sa paper ang interpretation niya. Kung positive, negative, or suspicious for cancer. Hindi ito tulad kapag gumamit ka ng colposcope, where a high-quality photo of the cervix is taken and becomes part of the patient's medical record. The image is sent abroad to South Korea for artificial intelligence interpretation. Yun lang, may bayad po ito, $12 per patient. Mahal? Yes, mahal. Pero alam niyo po ba how much ang PhilHealth reimbursement ng colposcopy procedure? 8,000 pesos or more. So sino pong mas mahal now? On the other hand, if you are not comfortable na walang doktor, not a problem. The captured images along with the artificial intelligence interpretation can be accessed by the OB specialist as long beforehand nakapag-sign up yung doktor, just so we can send it to her automatically. Ang accuracy po ng AI-assisted via colposcopy namin is reported to be 93% sensitivity and 89% specificity. 3. System Cervic will launch very soon a software infrastructure system called Cervic.online. Dito, ang pasyente can book a cervical cancer screening in any location that is using a cervix screening solution. Lahat ng mga data ng pasyente at data na need ng doktor will be inside. For security reason, each patient will have a cervix online account na kung saan ang nilalaman nito ay ang lahat ng cervical cancer screening record niya. Likewise, her follow-up schedules, her next treatments, and next checkups. So now it would be very convenient for patients and easy to share the information to their doctors. Goodbye na sa mga papel as everything can be digital. But there are people who are paper more. Hindi talaga sila paperless. Well, they can print the record at any given time. Ang beauty ng system na ito is during medical missions. Dahil ngayon pandemic na and bawal na ang pila, using the system we can probably eliminate pila because each individual will have their own schedule by the hour. Let me show you a quick step-by-step -step process of what the system can do. 1. Patient enters data and books a schedule. 2. Habang nag-aantay ng scheduled appointment, the patient is asked questions online kung ano ba ang cervical cancer. Base ngayon sa mga sagot niya, meron siyang papanoorin na video explaining like the ones you are hearing now. ba diba? kahit papaano natututo kayo. Ang point kasi namin dito is we want to highlight to mothers the importance and the need for cervical cancer screening plus the benefits. We would also want to educate them on HPV. Pagdating sa screening day, so medyo fast forward na tayo, Immediately pagkahiga ng pasyente, the attending midwife will place the speculum. 
Of course, we'll make sure that the speculum is body warm para hindi malamigan and at the same time, gumagamit po kami ng lubricant. Once na ipasok na ang speculum, nililinis ang cervical os with the plain NSS. After which, a picture of the cervix is done. Itong picture na to, this is for the doctor. Just so, she understands the pre-vinegar condition of the cervix. Once this is done, 3 to 5% acidic acid is placed over the cervix and soaked for 1 minute. Immediately after removing, a photo is taken using the colposcope. We normally take a minimum of 4 post-vinegar test photos. With the touch of a button, the image are immediately sent to South Korea for artificial intelligence interpretation. Within 1 to 5 minutes, may resulta ka na. The result will also be automatically forwarded to the patient's account. Should you want to print, you can print anytime. Should you want to send it to a doctor for her opinion on the case, as long as previously naka-sign up na po yung doktor, automated na yan. The doctor can access the surgery experts where she can make the final diagnosis. Everything po is digital and stored in the cloud. Once a result is released, appropriate actions will be based on the result. If negative, pawiin ang pasyente! If the result is positive, we can treat same day using cryotherapy kung kakayanin. If hindi kayas ng cryotherapy, then the patient may be referred to an OBGYN within the locality for conization. If, however naman, suspicious for malignancy or cancer, biopsy is done same day. Lahat ng data na makukuha namin will be shared to both the Department of Health through Dr. Eric Tayag and the Philippine Cancer Society through Director Rom Mercaida. Ang purpose kasi namin is to build up a population-based cervical cancer screening network. Lastly is treatment. Nabanggit ko na po a few seconds ago that we do have cryotherapy kung just in case we saw positive patients. Again, kung hindi namin kakayanin dahil medyo extensive ng konte, we can refer the patient sa isang OBGYN within the locality for conization. And if the patient is suspicious for malignancy or cancer, biopsy can be done same day. Thank you so much for participating and tuning in. Good day to all.